Hello and welcome to How Not to Play Magic the Gathering. Today we are doing a standard constructed deck that will be featured in our linear strategy concepts video. Uh, basically showcasing uh, synergies and combos and how they can create an overwhelming board state largely by just ignoring your opponent. Um, so we have the combo of Obnixilis Captive Kingpin and All Will Be One. So whenever a counter is put on a permanent, it deals that much damage, so one damage to an opponent. And whenever an opponent is dealt exactly one damage or loses exactly one life, Captive Kingpin gets a plus one counter. That counter then triggers All Will Be One and back and forth. Uh, to get the ball rolling, we do have the Oni Cult Anvil combo in here as well. Technically, this is more of a synergy and less of a straight-up combo. Um, if you have multiple anvils in play, then whenever you sacrifice an artifact, you get a 1-1 construct for each anvil you have out. So we have Blood Tithe Harvesters, we have Valdaran Epicures, all of which bring blood tokens along with Sanguine Statuette, um, and just a lot of that. Misha's Research Desk will let us uh, dig through our deck, and then of course we've got a little bit of removal thrown in in some extra spots. So, let me know in the comments below which game you think is the best showcase of both the strengths and weaknesses of a linear or combo strategy. And without further ado, let's get into some gameplay and see how strong this combo actually is. Okay, here we have Swamp Mountain and a couple two drops. Uh, yeah, we are definitely keeping this. We don't have any of our main combo pieces in hand, but we'll draw them eventually, right? Okay, so now we have our first major choice. I think we'll start off with Harvester. It's a uh, 3-2 body and potential removal. Uh, this is one of those multi-use cards that is just really powerful because it can be an attacker, it can be a removal. Um, I've got plenty of removal. What I need now is some um, lands. So let's go ahead and drop Anvil here. Uh, that way, when I filter my blood, I'll at least get a creature out of it. Uh, there we go. We'll do some damage. Pass the turn. I could have used Anvil to sack my blood here, but I think I would rather loot with it if I don't draw a land next turn. Because I need to get... Uh... Okay, goodbye, Blood Tide Harvester. Hello, Blood Tithe Harvester. Uh, let's... I think I'm going to go ahead and loot. Uh, we'll pitch... Statuette, see if I can get a land. I do get a 1-1 one, one out of it, and I get, well, one of my combo pieces. Unfortunately, that doesn't help me out too much, so, uh, yeah, we're done. Yay, mana screw. Fortunately, it looks like my opponent is also uh, mana screwed. They're having to discard to hand size. Fatal Grudge. So they're also on Rakdos. Hey, we found a mountain. All right. There we go. So we will go ahead and drop another Blood Tithe Harvester. Get another Blood Token. Swing in for one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and loot here on my turn. Because I do really want to hit another land. Uh, we'll get rid of my other statue. And if I loot on my turn, I'll get a uh, construct 
out of my anvil, whereas if I loot on my opponent's turn, I won't. So that's why I'm doing it now. We have a land for next turn. I am good to go. Ooh, all right. That is a big creature. If only I had some removal. So we'll do Invasion of Asgol. A target player will sacrifice a creature. And the only creature he has is Shakedown Heavy. So we can then proceed to combat. We'll go ahead and take out the invasion and do one damage to him. Let's see, I still have an uh, anvil that I can use. So we'll sacrifice one of my 1-1s. One It'll deal a damage to him. It'll create another token so I didn't actually lose anything. And because something left the battlefield, Ashen Reaper gets a counter. So a whole lot of synergies going on here, which is really what you're looking at in a linear deck, that you get all of these different... And it looks like he is on the same game plan that we are. Um, we happen to have fought another Obnix deck. Uh, so here we actually see that if your opponent a.k.a. me, is ready that they can just uh, kill your creatures before you can combo off with them. He's able to get rid of one of my creatures, which doesn't really save him. Uh, looks like that's gonna be game. So yeah, uh, we didn't really get to see my combo go off, but we did get to see the synergies in a linear strategy. Uh, we got to see how being ready for your opponent uh, your opponent's combo was able to disrupt him from getting uh, his Omnix combo off. So, I mean, him getting kind of mana screwed didn't hurt any either. We've got a bunch of swamps and a bunch of reds, so I think we'll be mulliganing this hand. And we get the exact opposite. But you know what? I can at least uh, start with this one. We'll toss one of those mountains back. I'd rather have swamps anyway. We do have our full combo in hand. We just have to get up to it. We'll start off with our blood token. Yeah, I'm not going to block that. As long as I don't go all the way down to zero life, it honestly doesn't matter. Uh, so we are going to Blood Tithe Harvester. Get ourselves another Blood Token. Sure, I'll go ahead and attack. Why not? He's going to leave himself open. Is he going to kill Harvester? I mean, go for it. Yep. That means he can't do Ronin. And I am exactly one mana away, or one land drop away, from comboing off. So sure, we'll go to combat, we'll swing on in. No reason not to. I could filter uh, to try and find more lands, but really I need everything in my hand, so I'm not I'm just gonna keep those out. I got my last land drop, which is great.
So I could run Obnixilis out now. Uh, I've seen the opponent does have uh, removal though. So I might want to wait a little bit. So now I can either do all will be one or I can do Kingpin plus Epicure. Uh, I've seen that he can do three damage with an Abraid, so I'm actually going to drop Obnix now as a 4-3. Uh, do Epicure to get him out of uh, Abraid range. So now he has to use at least two spells if he wants to kill Obnixilis. Or one destroy evil will also work. That's fine. Destroy evil also would have got taken out all will be one, so. Ooh, ouch. All right, well. So let's go ahead and play the swamp off of the research desk. So either keep up, go for the throat, or... Yeah, I think I'll keep up, go for the throat. Mm hmm. Show them how we greet our enemies. go ahead and kill that thing before it can hit me. We'll proceed back to my turn and just get more land. Alright. Oh, oops. My bad. I forgot that he was still open. Um, ha! Alright, well, that didn't do what I thought it would. Remember your training. Let's see what I can find. Yep, we'll go ahead and get rid of all these lands. I don't need them. Damn! Finally, a non-land. Holy crap. That took a bit. Can't block with it anyway. Not with menace. Strike fast and strike hard. Okay, I am in a world of hurt here. Let's 
so I'm only at four health, so I have to block. We must protect the people. And more land. Yep, none of those really help. And good game, opponent. You got me. So, yep, he was ready for my Obnixilis when it came down, and he was able to uh, stop my combo. And I couldn't do anything else after that. Alright, we've got Swamp, Mountain, and some stuff to do with them, including one of our two combo pieces. So, oh, hello, aggro. All right, well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? So we'll play what creatures we have, we'll get them uh, burnt out of the game by an abrade. And then just get ran over with uh, aggro. Play with fire, I'm sorry, my bad. Three's not bad, I think I'll keep it. keep derision open. I could do Invasion of Asgol here, but then I wouldn't be able to do anything else, and he just sacrificed the rabbit battery, so I'll get more value out of Deadly Derision. Plus, I'll get the treasure token that I can then build up to a turn with uh, both. So basically, I'm looking at Derision this turn, Derision next turn, and then Derision plus Asgol the turn after. And hopefully, that'll help clear out his board a little bit. Alright, well... Goodbye, little critter. He's going to swing in with everything. We'll blow up at least one of them. Take five. I'm pretty sure that spell he's holding on to is a removal spell. Which means that as soon as I drop Obnixilis, he's going to die. Okay, so let's Blood Tithe. He'll probably burn it immediately. Oh, I can't. Oh. If I do invasion, it's just trading my treasure for the rabbit battery. I think I'll just pass. Harvester dies here. No? Then what is it? Okay, those are weird attacks. I mean, sure, we'll double block here. If he's got removal, then woohoo.
He's digging. He doesn't have removal. But he is going to play the egg and go for a 4 4. Okay, sure. I don't know what that does. Go ahead and drop Asgol here, see what he sacrifices. And because he equipped the rabbit battery, it's no longer a creature, so he has to sacrifice the swift spear. There's a chance. I'm going to keep uh, Anvil up because I can use it in response to a burn on Obnixilis. Opponent sees the combo coming. Can't stop it. Can't do nothing. We get the win. Oh, yeah. All right. We've got Swamp. We've got Mountain. And we've got stuff that we can do with them. So let's go ahead and do a keep. Opponent is also on Rakdos. Uh, let's go ahead and drop black for, uh, for a cut down. That will do me more benefit now than Misha's research desk will. And then I'm basically just ready to kill whatever he casts this turn, if he casts anything. So we'll go ahead and drop Blood Tide Harvester make our little uh, blood token probably get it killed if opponent has some removal he does not is he on humans non-humans plus one counters I'm not familiar with Rakdos plus one counters huh okay so Junkyard Genius, is he on some kind of Oni Cult plan himself? So we will Oni Cult. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Genius. Uh, that way we can attack unhindered. And since it's still my turn, let's go ahead and uh, pop the blood token for one more damage and a 1-1 one, one construct. And they've got a blood tide harvester of their own, which is just fine. Making it big. That's perfectly acceptable. Turn our blood token into a statue. Uh, we'll keep my statue a statue because it's still got summoning sickness. Uh, we'll go to combat but not attack because he's got a 5-4 and I don't want it to die. I need to keep my chump blockers. Dollhouse of Horrors deck. Okay, so he can turn his Junkyard Genius into a doll. Very interesting. Alright, let's see what I can get out of my desk here. Another anvil or another statue. We'll go with another anvil, I suppose. Probably gonna sacrifice the harvester here so that he can get it back with the dollhouse. Yep, that's what he does. So 
So we'll go ahead and send everybody in at the invasion. He'll might block the 1-1. One -one. He'll probably just let it all go. Yep. So invasion flips. And before I end turn, let's go ahead and... Do I sack the statue or do I sack a 1-1? One -one? We'll sack the statue. Might be the wrong play. Now you can dollhouse his harvester. And now he's got two twos. He is looking for some answers. All right, he's making something big, that's fine. Is he attacking? Yes, he is. Four damage isn't a lot. Go ahead and let it hit. Okay, let's... We'll go ahead and swing out. If he kills the Harvester, that's fine. He can't block Reaper because he's only got one creature and Menace. So yep, he'll go ahead and block the Harvester. That is perfectly fine. I'm okay with that because that will kill his Construct. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, that's actually fine uh, because it's a token. When it dies, it will dissipate in the graveyard and not come back. So he just spent a black to do absolutely nothing. And he's probably wondering why that didn't work. So I will get two Oni triggers off of that. And just for good measure, we'll go ahead and sack one of these just to get another leech effect. And that's probably a shame scoop. Uh, hopefully he realizes what went wrong there and uh, won't make that mistake in the future. But Oh boy, we've got all of our combo and none of our lands. So let's, okay, this looks a lot better. I don't have any combo pieces, but we can at least start off. Uh, let's go ahead and tuck desk. It's kind of a filler anyway. Opponent will think I'm on mono red aggro and just scoop. Oh, except they're on control. Which means I am not landing a single thing. Maybe it's not control. So let's start with statue because nobody knows what that does. Alright, he is just drawing like a madman. All right, so let's go ahead and drop Oni Cult. Uh, we will go ahead and activate Oni Cult to sacrifice my blood token, which will trigger my Sanguine Statuette to become a 3-3 three, three that I can swing with. And then it hides again. Yep, bounce the token, so it goes bye-bye. Scry to the bottom. All right. Unfortunately, there's not a lot more I can do at the moment. Do you have a counter spell? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll get that out of there. Haughty Jin, all right. Not a land. 
you have another spell pierce. How does... Oh, because Jin makes it... Okay, I did not see that. That's why I wanted another uh, land. Maybe we'll draw it next turn. So I believe this is the Mono Blue Tempo deck. And land. Not land. Well, there's no way this lands again. Yep, there you go. Opponent just has all the counters, and I have none of the lands. I mean, this would be different if I could draw lands, because then I'd be able to, like, actually freaking do something. This, yeah. Getting mana screwed is bad enough. Getting mana screwed against control, you, it's, yeah. All right, we've got lands, we've got stuff to do with it, so let's uh, see if we can find our combo pieces at some point. All right, we'll go ahead and do swamp and pass. It looks like we're up against mono red aggro. So having that cut down in the early game is going to be very nice. Especially if he drops a... Uh... That's not what I was expecting. Twice? Dang. All right, well, let's just go ahead and kill it here. He's probably got electrostatic infantry on top. Um, so I'll save my invasion of Asgol for that. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and drop some critters. And see what he's got. Oh, he's not on aggro, he's just on straight burn. Alright. We'll swing in while we can, because I don't think my critters are going to be lasting too long. Oh, he's just going to go straight to face. All right. What's Foundry do? It becomes a, a creature. Okay. Let's go ahead and filter out the invasion. I don't think it's going to be very good here. Pull another Harvester. That's fine. Alright, so Mono Red seems to have burnt himself out. For now, anyway. We'll dis the land to draw a statue. Alright. Well, there's all be one. That's very nice. Swamp or Swamp? Which one do I want? Mm, I think I'll take the Swamp. I 
I think I'll keep one of the harvester back to block the assembly worker or the mistress foundry. That might be the wrong call. Especially if he draws burn, but he's just got another land. Okay. That means that I have lethal because I've got three here. Six, nine, plus one is ten. All I have to do is sack a blood token. All right. Uh, mono red burn burned itself out and didn't have enough quite to kill us. Well, we've got some lands. We've got one of our combo pieces. Let's see if we can't uh, put it together. Probably anvil. Yep. Well, that sucks. I really wanted that card. Oh, well. Nice little blood fountain. Cut down. That's a nice card. Uh, I think we'll wait on invasion until he has a critter out. Um... So if I can kill it with cut down, I will. If not, then we got invasion. All right, he's going to loot a little bit. A zero four transforms into a three four. Oh, looks like they're on a a pretty heavy discard plan. Sure, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. Please sacrifice a creature. What does that do? Menace lifelink? Nice! Uh, please sacrifice a creature. Another trespasser? <laughs> okay. I probably should have done Obnixilus last turn, but eh, whatever. Sure. Okay, I don't know why he didn't do that before he attacked. Yep. Opponents just got all the removal. Mono black kind of does that. Now I draw the other half of my combo after the first half is already did. Black had a lot of removal in it or something. And now he can just get his stuff back out of the graveyard and I have no chance. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll take a mountain. And double swamp this time. I mean, how is this even possible? I don't have that many lands in my deck. I'm pretty sure that every time I have used Misha's research desk, I have gotten double lands. Even if I draw Obnix, I don't have a way of doing one point of damage. Really? All right, round three of Misha's research desk. It's been exactly desk, land, land, desk, land, land. What, if this is double land, I'm, I'm quitting. Just, there's no way. All right, so it wasn't land, land. It was arguably worse. Sure, we'll take the one, one. And yeah, even if I do get uh, Obnix down, he's just going to kill it. He's got all the removal in the world. And he's got me dead on board. I can't do anything about it. That was just stupid. Alright, we've got lands. We've got our combo. This looks like a keep. All I gotta do is draw enough uh, lands to make it up there. That's not a land. So we'll start off with Harvester. Get me a blood token. Next turn I'll have uh, Anvil. Yes, yes. No lands though. Uh, land would have been nice. And it dies. Oh. I was expecting just straight up cut down. Sure. You gonna go ahead and block them for me? Double block? Maybe? I will happily do that. Harvester number two. Well, at least opponent's getting land screwed too. Do they have another reinforcement? Nope, they're just taking the damage this time. Awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and make a 1-1. One, one. Uh, they are really mana screwed. He probably should have waited until my turn to cast that. Um, because that just turns me off of instance on his turn. And I don't have any of those. Um, but if you would have cast it on my turn, then I wouldn't have been able to cast pretty much anything except for Obnix. But now it's my turn. That effect is over. And I can... Let's go to combat. We'll swing out. I uh, will do four. Chances are opponent just scoops here. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that because that puts him into uh, Valorous Stance range, which means that he can just be killed as an X4. 
Nope, he is dropping a flyer. That is perfectly fine by me. Voldaren Epicure or Voldaren Epicure. This deck loves giving me choices, doesn't it? Alright, if he attacks with that, things are going to get nasty, so I think Invasion is my play here. Please sacrifice a creature. And yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get my combo off because I got the rest of my deck off. Alright, so we went uh, five wins, three losses. So, I mean, the deck is pretty decent. We didn't really get to see the combo. Um, but we also saw how having the highly synergistic uh, Oni Cult uh, with all of the blood tokens and how those were able to really start moving along. So, I mean, the deck itself isn't bad. Uh, it could probably use some tweaks here and there. The combo itself is amazing if you can get it off. Unfortunately, at 4 and 5 mana, it's kind of hard to actually get it off. Uh, I think I'll be playing a couple more games just to see if I can get one that has the full combo explosion on it um, for the video. But that's going to end things here today. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this content, I'll do more. Um, I love brewing decks, and I love uh, testing them. So if you just want to see more random wild brews, I can definitely do that. Uh, suggest some, some cards for me to brew around, and we'll see what we can come up with. Um, but I suppose that does it today, and I'll see you all in the next video.